mark up tab. Coach, we'll start off with a uh, with your opening statements, and we'll take questions. Okay. Uh, I knew it was going to be a tough game. Uh, Granted, didn't have anything to lose. We had more to lose than anything. I knew they was going to come out and play hard. That freshman Terry Rowe is going to be pretty good. He, he, he's going to be pretty good. Uh, but they executed well. Uh, we allowed Terry to get going in the first half. Uh, he had 17 points in the first half. So we did a better job the second half, and he only scored five. Uh, but our main thing right now is free throws. We go 13 to 27 from the free throw line. You're not going to win many games shooting 13 or 27. So there's something that we got to do a better job of. And you know, these two guys here played a, played a heck of a game. Um, Tab with 15 and 15, and Bradley with 19. He shot the ball real well. Um, but we got to do a little bit better job of uh, executing on the offensive end and coming out with a little energy. I knew it was going to be rusty. That first game was the toughest game in the tournament, you know, that rust. And uh, that was our, that I was more worried about this game than any game. Because I know Coach uh, Joseph, I know he's going to fight. He's a fighter. And I knew he was going to come out and fight. So I uh, uh, just want to thank my guys for coming out and uh, playing hard in the second half and kind of turn that game around for us. All right. Any questions for our coaches or our players here? Coach, coming into a game like this against a team that hasn't won any games and given the, the, the season that they had, and with respect to the comments that you made regarding the rust that your team had, does the possibility of doubt or linger in, your, in the back of your mind as to how this could potentially turn out in, 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 in terms of having a first-round exit to a team that hadn't won anything? Well, like I said, I was more concerned about this game more than anything. You know, anytime, you know, we played Grandma twice and, you know, we beat them by 20 points. But I knew that they was going to play a, a whole lot better than what they had played the previous two games. And this game, I was more worried about if you if you was around me today, you would have thought I was going crazy. Because it's just that anxiety. I wish we could have played this game about 10 o'clock today to get it on over with. Because I was so anxious and really nervous, wondering how our guys were going to come out playing. I knew his guys were going to come out playing hard. But I was more concerned with how we were going to come out playing. Or we are going to try to look over them, come out like a danger. But we came out pretty hard, but they just came out a little bit better than what we did at the beginning of the game. You trailed at the, at the, uh, at the half. What turned the ball game for you? I said again. You trailed early on. What turned the ball game for you? Uh, our defensive pressure. Uh, we started picking up full court a little bit more. Um, you know, our guys, we just we just played like a days of the first half. Uh, now, they, they did execute a lot better on the offensive end. And uh, we didn't get the turnovers that we needed in the first half. But you look at the first two minutes of the second half, I think we got two or three turnovers there within that first two minutes. And you can see the energy that our guys kind of pick up and get us going. And we start getting easy baskets, you know, easy to transition baskets. And any time in a tournament, that's what you want. You want turnovers to try to get a uh, transition basket. Um, this is for Aiden Player. When Coach mentions, you know, coming out with a better first half, how do you and your teammates do that and go and going forth from the tournament? Either. Oh, um, well, we just try to you know, stay positive and like anytime we try to make a mistake, we try to let it go and forget about it and uh, keep moving forward because we keep lingering on the mistakes. It's just gonna keep happening. So you know, we try to stay positive and uh, be upbeat about it. It's tough because, like you said, he didn't want us to go out there just thinking that we were going to beat them. So we had to come out there with the right mind frame. But we came out there like a day. But we picked it up the second half with the defense. And at the end, we, we pulled away with it like we supposed to be did. Southern coming up on Friday. Uh, got to play a lot tougher and a lot harder than what we played tonight. Uh, being that we have played Southern twice this year, they're the number one seed in this tournament. They got two great players on their team, and Beltran and Miller. Uh, but I mean Mitchell, they got Mitchell too. But those two guys can can really score the ball, uh, and we're gonna have to do a better job trying to keep the ball out of their hands. And what Southern do, they do a good job of having maybe three or four people in double figures. 
And we got to try to find a way to at least eliminate one of those guys from being the double figures. We're going to try to win that game on, on Friday. All right, that's it. Thanks, Coach. Thank I appreciate you. it.